Hello and welcome to Club of Coders. In this video, we are going to create a to-do list mobile application with React Native, Native Wind, and TRBC. This is a full stack mobile web application, and this is my first React Native project on this YouTube channel. So, if you are excited about mobile web development, and if you are excited about shipping and building some mobile web application for Android and iOS, both the platforms. So you should learn React Native. It's a very great tool for building mobile application. As we already know React JS, so it's very easy for us to start building mobile applications with React Native. So in this video, this is just a basic first impression tutorial of React Native with TRPC full stack mobile application. It's gonna be a very great tutorial. We are going to use a super awesome boilerplate code to initialize our code and then we will move forward to build the full stack functionality inside our application okay so one thing before you should remember that you should know how to install a basic react native project so you must have to set up a react native environment on your laptop or on your pc or on your machine so i have already set up a react native environment and if you don't know how to set up you can google and you can watch any youtube video or you can search how to do that or you can visit react native official documentation and you can find the react native setup documentation there as well but here i will more focusing on building the application instead of setting things and one more last thing is i am always going to use expo with react native to build mobile applications because if you will not use expo your developer experience is gonna be very different with plain react native you have to manage the ios native code you have to manage the android native code but if you prefer to use expo expo has some built-in cool features which will improve your developer experience to like to the moon your developer experience will be very very good on react native if you use expo what is expo this is a tool which lets you build such a cool features if you search on expo.dev you will find about it and it's a very great tool and we are going to use expo in this video so let's start the building part so here you can see this is our chrome browser we will search what is expo first so you can see expo.dev this is a very cool ecosystem basically which will help you to develop it will help you to deploy your web applications to platforms like the apple platform or the android platform which is play store or the app store wherever you want and it will help you to ship your web application faster and it is as easy as to start a npx create expo app it's as easy like that and you can see it has a file routing system just like next year's so you can create new routes inside your mobile application using expo with file based routing here you can see it also gives us fast refresh which is a cool feature and it gives us a lot of things like maps it gives us camera it gives us images navigation we can invite our teammates and we can do a lot of stuff with using expo i have used expo i have built a few mobile web applications as well in the past that's why i am going to teach you how you can build a mobile application as a react web developer with very simple and step-by-step -step process you can drag everything on your dashboard and you can see 50 percent more than 50 percent of react native projects using expo i love this effect this is a very cool effect yeah so now we want to try this so to try this we are not going to use this boilerplate code in this one we are not going to use this we are going to use something called trpc trpc and react native and with monorepo it will help us to build a full stack web application just like a create t3 application and you will see what is the boilerplate code we are going to use so you can search trpc with react native not we don't want this we want a zero api react native and typescript this is also good there are a few starter code which you can see you can see it uses Nexus Web Web React Native Web application with Expo TRPC API, which is inferred straight into the above and Prisma as a type safe ORM. But this is not the boilerplate code which we are going to use. We are going to use something different. Basically, why we are using TRPC? So every web application, every mobile application needs a server. So we have to define some custom logic, some logic where we can do stuff. 
like let's assume we are building a to-do list application and we want to save something we want to save a to-do into our db so this logic can be only handled by a server we can just send a request we can send a request to our server from our client and client can be mobile application, client can be web application, but we are sending a request. We are saying that, hey server, this is my to-do, save this to DB and our server will save the to-do text into our DB. Then if some other user want to face this to-do, let's assume you are logged out from your mobile application and you are logging again, then you will be able to send all the to-do list reference to the current user. So this is how it works. So building a fully stack mobile application with React Native. So there is a great starter project. There is a great TRPC with React Native project on GitHub. Let's go to GitHub and we will search it. If you want, we can search create.t3 app. Search t3 app with react native like that if you search this you can see a mono repo clean and simple starter repo using t3 stack along with expo react native you can see this is a basic simple to-do list application with mobile application with a web application all into a mono repo which is a turbo repo so here this is how we can install this and it's a very great project clean and simple starter repo using t3 stack alongside with expo and react native so here you can see this is our expo this is our expo sdk here we are using react native here we are using tailwind using native wind native wind is a react native library which lets us use tailwind css inside our react native so we don't have to worry about writing css anymore we can just use native wind let's go to native wind and find out what this is so yeah native wind uses tailwind as a scripting language to create universal style system for react native its component can be shared between platform and will output their styles a css style sheet on the web and style sheet dot create for native for mobile app and this is awesome as you can see you can see flex one item center justify center and if we give it you can see that the text color is red, and if you give it red, it will change it to red. And this is easy, very easy. This is just like using Tailwind CSS on the web. You can visit native.dev to find more about it. Here we have type safe API calls using TRPC. That's what we need. This is only we need. We don't need Next.js. We don't need Next.js. We only need the mobile application. But there is a problem. If we build a Next.js web application, then we can use the same API routes for our mobile applications as well. So we don't have to define a separate application. So we can just use Next.js application as a server and it will help us to build our mobile application backend. And that's so how we combine everything into a separate folder, which we will use as a mono repo. Mono repo is a thing. So if you search mono repo, this is another cool stuff which you can find out. Everything you need to know about mono repos. Yeah. A mono repo is a single repository. Mono repo name already says that mono repo, single repo, containing multiple projects inside a single folder or a repository we can call. So there are some libraries, there are some projects. We can combine all of them into a same folder or a repo. We call it as a Mono repo. Here is the thing. If you want to build a server, you can build your server standalone. You can build a separate server. You can build a separate React Native application and you can combine both of them. This is a thing. But if you want to use something like Mono repo, then you will be able to use TRPC and you will be able to utilize the type safety of the TRPC. And it will give you a great developer experience while building a fully stack mobile application. So yeah, you can read more about it. Mono repo. It, it uses Turbo repo which is a mono repo developed by if you search turbo repo developed by Vercel, incremental bundler and build system optimized for javascript type script written in rust so this is a turbo repo which is a you can say it's better than mono repo as i have heard i don't have the facts so why is it better but it is used in many industry and in one of my previous companies i have used this and it's awesome if you want to learn let's go to get started and you can learn more about it here next year's mono repo basically in the mono repo turbo repo is kind of mono repo but turbo repo is fast and it helps us to cache a lot of stuff and if we host it on Vercel, it provides a smooth experience so this is by Vercel and it is a product of Vercel. that's why it fits into the Vercel or into the next year's ecosystem here we have our TRPC routes, all the APIs in the packages. Here we have authentication using Nextauth. 
only for the next test app not expo if we are using expo if we are using mobile authentication we can go with super base authentication we can go with firebase authentication you don't need to implement authentication by yourself it's very hard you can utilize already built libraries or frameworks or some services to build your authentication fast our goal is to ship our mobile application faster without worrying about tech complexity that's why we are using these things type safe db calls using prisma it's great i think and we can install this as well we can host this like that and then if you need to submit your application to ios and android you can submit it as well like this and it is pretty smooth process you can read this github and you can read, read this blog as well and you can check it out there is another repo this is a create t3 repo or a turbo repo which is integrated with our Next.js. But if you want an express server, a standalone server, if you are not building a website, if you are only building mobile application, then you can find out a what we can say. Then you can find out about T3. Let's go to create.t3 or dot. Create.t3.app. Create.t3.gz. Here you can go to documentation. Here you can go to other recommendation. In the other recommendation, here I think it has T3 collection. In the T3 collection, here we have some things. And this is great. Here create T3, T3 stack using Turbo Repo. This is a Turbo Repo basically. And you can find out a thing here, which is React Native. Let's search React Native. Let's search here. There is something which React Native. And I want to show you that thing, React Native. A model repo that includes React Native app. Useful resources. Let's find out. Yeah. If you need to consume your API from a different domain, for example, in a mono repo that includes React Native application, you might need to enable course. Okay, that's good. But there is one thing, T3 collection. I have seen that, but it's missing now here. You can ship a Tori app using T3 stack. This is a party story. Tori is a framework to build desktop application. It's also awesome. You can see if you use something called Electron to build your desktop application, your application size will be this. Your memory size will be this. If you use Tori, you can see the difference. It's huge. You can use this thing as well. I need T3, T3 stack with React Native and T3 stack. Let's find out if we have something here. Here, create T3 app server, which is we have seen recently. This one, this is awesome. T T3 Turbo and Clark. Yeah, this is a starter code with building mobile application with clerk authentication. There is one simple project, create T3 app router, edge, drizzle, no T3 stripe, T3 Twitter. No, this is not what we need. I think we can go with this. We can modify the code. Does this pattern leak backend code to my client application? No, it does not because the API package should only be in production dependency in Next.js application where it serves the expo app and all other apps you may add in the future should only add the API package is a dev dependency. This lets you have full type C type safety into your application while keeping your backend code safe. If you need to share runtime code between client and server, such as input validation schemas, you can create a separate shared package for this and import on both sides. I think we will we are going to use this. There is another simpler project with the create T3 app with a turbo repo but I am not able to find that project but yeah we can utilize this that's not a problem if you go to other recommendation state management animations deployment analytics other yeah so that's all I think we are going to use this I will create a tutorial in which we will focus on building the create t3 turbo application it's gonna be a simple to do mobile application but we are going to ship that to do application or we can say we are going to build that mobile application then I'm going to create a new course on this T3 React Native stack. So that's all for this video and I will see you in the next tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't so that you will be notified next time I post a new tutorial like this which is gonna be most probably the React Native T3 to-do list application. Thank you.